Good day everyone. Welcome to my learning channel, Surfax Learning Channel. Today, we will learn Mathematics 8 with Teacher Arlene. At kung bago ka sa channel na ito, huwag mong kalimutang mag-subscribe at i-hit ang notification bell on para updated ka sa mga susunod ko pong videos. Happy learning! Good morning! Today, I'm going to present to you how to add and subtract rational algebraic expressions. Okay, let's deal first with similar rational algebraic expression. Again, allow me to use the acronym REE for rational algebraic expression. So, in adding and subtracting similar rational algebraic expression, we simply add or subtract the numerators and copy the denominators. When we say similar rational algebraic expressions, these are rational algebraic expressions with the same denominators. Just like our example here. So as you can see, they have the same denominators. So these are called similar rational algebraic expression. To add this kind of rational algebraic expression, we simply add the numerators we have 3x minus 2 plus 2x plus 3. And over the common denominator. So add the numerators and copy the denominator. So when we say add the, uh, in addition of polynomial, we simply combine similar terms. So here... 3x and 2x are similar, so we can combine this. 3x plus 2x will give us 5x. Another similar terms are the constant. We have negative 2 and positive 3. Negative 2 and positive 3, if you're going to combine, will give you 1. And that will become, that will be our numerator, 5x plus 1. And of course, copy the denominator. The sum is 5x plus 1 all over x plus 1. Okay, this time let us go to subtraction of similar rational algebraic expression. Again, as you can see, the denominators are the same. So, we can copy first the denominator. And of course... Subtract the numerators because the operation here is subtraction. As you can see, the sign is minus. We have minus sign. But remember, in subtraction, you have to consider the rule. And that rule is, in subtracting, we have to change the sign of the subtrahend, and then we have to proceed to addition. So how are we going to do that? You have to copy first the minuend. 3x minus 2, and of course, minus the subtrahend. But since we're talking of subtraction, we have to put inside the grouping symbol the subtrahend. 2x, the quantity 2x plus 3. Okay, the reason why we put 2x plus 3 in quantity because Our subtrahend here is not just 2x, but the whole binomial 2x plus 3. Okay, next. Of course, according to the rule, we have to change the sign of this subtrahend. And to do that, we have 3x minus 2, our minuend, minus our subtrahend. This 2x will become negative 2x, and this 3 will become negative 3, or simply distribute the sign. Negative times positive is negative, negative times another positive is negative, all over x plus 1. Okay, next we can now combine similar terms. So we have here 3x minus 2x will give us x. Negative 2 minus 3 will give us negative 5. 
is combined. 3x combined with negative 2x is x. Negative 2 combined with negative 3, that's negative 5. All over x plus 1. So the difference is x minus 5 all over x plus 1. So that's how we add and subtract similar rational algebraic expression. This time, let us proceed with the similar rational algebraic expression. The similar rational algebraic expressions are rational expressions with different denominators. So how are we going to add and subtract the similar rational algebraic expressions? First, we need to get the LCD of the two expressions, make them similar, and add or subtract the numerators. So let's take this example. 3 over 4 plus 2 over 3. Okay, as you can see, the denominators are not the same. So we have to get first the LCD. The LCD is the product of these two denominators. That is 4 times 3 or we have 12. So the LCD will become the new denominators of the given expressions. Okay, whatever the LCD will become the new denominator. And we need to make them similar. How are we going to make them similar? Okay, we have to do this. You have to divide the LCD by the old denominator and multiply it to the numerator. The answer will be the new numerator. Okay, let's do that. 12 divided by 4 will give us 3. And 3 times 3 will give us 9. So 9 will be the new numerator of our fraction. Next, the other fraction, 12 divided by 3 is 4. And 4 times 2 will give us 8. So this 3 over 4 will become 9 over 12. And this 2 over 3 will become 8 over 12. As you can see, 9 over 12, if you're going to get the lowest term, will give you 3 fourths. And the lowest term of 8 over 12 is 2 thirds. So meaning, 3 fourths and 9 over 12 are two equivalent fractions. The same with 2 over 3 and 8 over 12. But, here, they have the same denominator already. So, since the denominator are already the same, we may now add the numerator. That's 9 plus 8 will give us 17. And copy the LCD or the new denominator. The answer is 17 over 12. So, the same thing in subtraction. We need to get the LCD. And the LCD will become the new denominator. And we need to make them similar by dividing the LCD, divide the LCD by the old denominator. So 12 divided by 4 is 3, and multiply it to the numerator. 3 times 3, 9. The answer will be the new numerator. Here, we have 12 divided by 3, that's 4, times 2 will give us 8. And since they have the same denominator already, we can copy the denominator and subtract the numerator. 9 minus 8 will be 1. So the difference is 1 over 12. Okay, this time let's put some variable in it. Let's take this example. 3 over x plus 3 plus 2 over x plus 2. So, how are we going to add these two rational expressions? First, we need to get the LCD. And the LCD will be the product of the two denominators. The LCD will become the new denominator. We have the quantity x plus 3 times the quantity x minus 2. Remember, we need to make them similar. Here, they have already the same denominator but what will be the new numerator okay to get the numerator here we have to divide the lcd by the old denominator so let's try to divide that if we're going to divide 
the quantity x minus 3 times the quantity x minus 2 divided by x minus 3, the answer will be x minus 2. So, let's do that. The quantity x minus 3 times the quantity x minus 2 divided by x minus 3, the answer is x minus 2. And we will multiply it to the old numerator. So, 3 now multiplied to x minus 2. We have 3 times the quantity x minus 2 in factor 4. Next, to get the new the numerator here, we need to divide again the LCD by the old denominator. So, if we will divide x, the quantity x minus 3 times the quantity x minus 2 by x minus 2, so x minus 2 will be cancelled out. And what is left is x minus 3. We will now multiply x minus 3 by 2. So, 2 times the quantity x minus 3. So, in here, since they already have the same denominator, we can copy the denominator. And let us add the numerator. Before we combine terms, let us distribute this 3 times x, 3x. 3 times negative 2 is negative x, negative 6 I mean. Plus... 2 times x will give us 2x, and 2 times negative 3 will give us negative 6. Now, we will just add the numerator by combining similar terms. Again, we have the denominator, the quantity x minus 3 times the quantity x minus 2. So, 3x and 2x are similar terms, so we can combine them. 3x plus 2x will give us 5x. Another similar terms are the constant. We have negative 6 and another negative 6. So negative 6 combined with negative 6 will give us negative 12. So the answer is 5x minus 12 all over the quantity x minus 3 times the quantity x minus 2. So this time, let's have subtraction. Subtract the expressions x over x minus 4 minus x minus 2 all over x plus 4. Since they have different denominators, we need to get the LCD. And the LCD will become the new denominator. We have the quantity x minus 4 times the quantity x plus 4. And to get the new numerator of the first expressions, we have to divide the LCD by the old denominator. The quantity x minus 4 times the quantity x plus 4 divided by x minus 4 will give us x plus 4 because x minus 4 will be eliminated. So, x minus 4 will be multiplied to our x here. x times x plus 4. Next, to get the numerator of the second fraction, we will divide the LCD again by the old denominator. So, the LCD the quantity x minus 4 times the quantity x plus 4 divided by x plus 4 will give us x minus 4. So, x minus x plus 4 will be eliminated or will be cancelled. And x minus 4 will be multiplied to x minus 2. So, let us now simplify the numerators. times x is x squared. x times 4 will give us 4x minus 
the quantity x minus 4 times the quantity x minus 2. So, x, using the FOIL method, because we're multiplying two binomials. So, x times x is x squared. So, x times x is x squared. And then the outer term, x times negative 2 will give us negative 2x. And the inner term, negative 4 times x will give us negative 4x. So we will combine the product of the outer term and the inner term. That is negative 6x. And then multiply the last term. Negative 4 times negative 2 is positive 8. Since they already have the same denominators, we will just copy the denominator. And of course, since we're dealing with subtraction, remember to put inside the grouping symbol the subtrahend x squared minus 6x plus 8 because there is a rule in subtraction that we have to change the sign of the terms of our subtrahend before we proceed to addition so here we have x squared plus 4x this positive x squared will become negative x squared. And this negative 6x will become positive 6x. This positive 8 will become negative 8. All over the LCD. Quantity x minus 4 times quantity x plus 4. Next is we will just combine similar terms. So x squared and negative x squared. This will be cancelled out because it will give us 0. 4x and 6x, we have 10x. And of course, the constant term, negative 8. Over x minus 4 times x plus 4. Okay, that will be the difference. 10x minus 8 all over the quantity x minus 4 times the quantity x plus 4.